to de-stress, do your algebra two homework. Okay, anyway. All right. So now the next ones. If you flip online, sometimes it says nine C instead of nine B. That's okay. But this is another type of working together problems. It is a this time it's working rate. Okay. So when you're thinking about it, let's do a quick type of thing. We know that distance equals what? Rate times time. Guys, guess what shows up on standardized tests a lot? Distance equals rate times time. Now, we have something that's very similar to this. Very similar to work rate. Now, why would I care about the the rate that someone's working. So I can pay them. Do I want someone who's really slow? People. Have keep of mind. I have a plumber come look at my house. If he is not efficient, I get paid by the hour. A plumber costs anywhere between 75 to like 150 bucks an hour. Do I want one that is not efficient and have a good work rate? No, I want an efficient one. I don't want to have to spend lots of money. So work rate matters. What if I want someone to come pay my house? Trust me, because you don't want me to because I'm too impatient. Uh, here's the deal. Do I want one that is good quality, but I, do I want one that works slow? No, because I'm not going to pay more. What? So work rate matters when you're doing it. So here's how I want you to think about this. Here's your new equation today. It is the amount of work completed. Okay, so instead of distance, it's the work what? Done, right? Equals rate of completion times what? Time. So is it really the same type of concept a little bit? Here's the problem. We have to come up with the rate a lot more often. Okay, we're the ones that have to figure it out. So let's look at this first example here. If Laura takes three hours to clean her room, what is her rate per hour. Well, let's think about this. We're going to change this equation to make it easy. Let's go J is equal to the rate times time. So J can be jobs, which you guys are doing this, but jobs can be that. So let's think about Laura here for a moment. Not that any of you would take that long to clean your room. Okay. I don't want to know what your rooms look like. Some of them are probably going to be beautifully organized. Most at this stage in your life, no more sex. Okay, they're probably hazards. All right, but what do we do? Well, it says it takes her three hours to clean her room. So how much work did she complete? One full job, correct? Her rate, I don't know. But what was her time? Three hours. So if I solve for rate, what was her rate? One, two, three. So it's really, are you ready for her rate? It's crazy label. It's really one third of her room per what? I just love to spell room today. Room per hour. That's her rate of work. Did you guys agree? Yeah. I've seen worse rooms. Okay. All right. All right. Next one. How much of the room does now I want to ask you a question. How much of your room does she clean in two hours? So what's my formula? The job of completion, right, equals rate times time. Okay? So what do we know her rate is? What's her rate? One third. How much time did she work? Two. Okay, so how much of the job is she going to get done? So she's going to clean what? Two thirds of a room. Are you seeing it's really using the same concept as we did yesterday? But we don't have to do, the cool part is we don't have to set up the charts as much. So she did two thirds of the job. Okay, now let's think about this one. If Eric can mow one third of a lawn and three fourths of an hour, what is his rate of completion per hour? Okay, so let's think about this for a moment. 
if Eric and Mo went there to the lawn in three fourths of an hour, what is his rate of completion per hour? Okay, what's gonna be our little formula? Yeah. I was gonna ask, um, <coughs> are you counting the days we put by each year and then you just gotta say right now? Like you know, like two months. Right now we're not really doing the work problems yet. Okay. Well, let's get there. Right now we're just sending them out and learning how to do basic setup goals. All right, so I want you to think about this one. My job completion is rate times time. So it says, Eric can mow one third of a lawn in three fourths of an hour. What am I plugging in? So how much of the job is he completing? One third. What am I looking for? The rate of completion, which is what? R, which is my rate. Did you hear me? In what time? Three fourths of an hour. There's my equation this time. So how much of the job did he get done? One third. How long did it take him? Three fourths of an hour. Okay, now how do we solve that, scholars? Or isn't it easier to multiply by a reciprocal? <coughs> so that's what I'm going to do on this one. I'm multiplying by the reciprocal of four thirds. When we do that, four thirds times one third is equal to what? So four ninths wow. equals R. So what's my label for this? So four ninths of a lawn, you know, job per hour. Wouldn't you guys agree with me on this? It's four ninths of a mode lawn per hour. Or you could say four ninths of a job was completed per hour. Are you guys with me either way of saying that? Okay, now let's look at the new one. What happens when I throw people in? More than one. Are two normally, notice I said normally, not always, is two normally better than one? Shouldn't you go faster? Even if you go at different rates. Okay, so let's try this one. Bailey can wash and wax a car in four hours. Jason can do the same job in three hours. I'm hiring Jason. All right, what is Bailey's rate of completion per hour, and what is Jason's rate of completion per hour? So let's do this real quick. All right, yeah, it's true. What's his quality? All right, so the job equals rate times time. All right, so Bailey is going to be in purple, okay? So we're looking for his rate of completion, which is R. He can finish one car in how long? Four hours. So what is his rate of completion? So really it's one fourth of a car per what? Per hour. Okay. Now we're gonna do Jason Jason's time. Wow, I'm gonna name, name all these out. Alright, so what's Jason? He can do the same job. He completes the full job in how many hours? Three. So his job equals rate times time. Alright, is the fact he completes one full job. Don't know the rate, but it's done in hours. So what is his rate? Yeah, his rate is one third. So for Jason's rate, it's one third of a car per hour. Would you guys agree? Okay. Now, I want you to think about that. It says, given the information above, how much of the job will be complete if Bailey and Jason work together for one hour? For one hour. So think about it. I got Bailey plus what? Plus Jason. Jason. All right, so we're going to work with it together. So we know the completion rate is rate times time, right? And also we're going to do rate times time. So what was the rate of Bailey? <coughs> so one fourth. How much time did they work? All right, perfect. So what's the rate of Jason? And what's the time that he's going to work? All right. So we really get one fourth plus one third. Oh, wait. Get a common what? Denominator. So three twelfths plus four twelfths is what? Seven twelfths. So how much of a car are they going to get done? Yep. Seven twelfths completion of a car. Yeah. In and out. So. A little bit better than by themselves? 
Yes, I will. Yes. All right. Now, the question. How long would it take for them to do the whole job together? Okay, so I want you to think about this. We know Bailey's rate is going to be what? One fourth times whatever amount of time, right? I don't know how long it's going to take for him, but he's going to do a rate of one fourth time. Plus, Jason, we know he does his rate is one third, but they're working together, so is their time the same? And I want a whole job completed, which is what number? One. So I want one job completed. What if I wanted three jobs for what I put in? Three cars in there, right? Same idea. So you agree with me, I can rewrite this. I'm going to change this now. To t over 4 plus t over 3 is equal to 1. Now, think why we were working with fractions earlier. Do I want this fraction here? All right, so I'm going to multiply both sides by So what do you get here? First one's going to be what? 3t. Yep. Distribute the 12 again. We get 12 times t, t over 3, which is what? t equals 12. So we got 7t is equal to 12. All over 7. Guys, that, someone goes like, that doesn't make sense to me. It's 12 sevenths of an hour. So do they take two hours? No. This is where mixed numbers make more sense. It's one and what? One and one. Hey, is that faster than either one of them? Yeah. So would you want them to team up? Especially if one's very particular so they can mess, fix the other one's mistakes, right? Yeah. So making sure that you get this. Now, if I was a boss with this, I would want to work with it. No. So here's what we're going to do. We just derived the formula for this, okay? Here's the general equation you will use to, for working together problems. Notice, it's one over the time for A to do the job alone. Basically, are we doing the rate? All right. Then, time that the first person works, plus one over the time that B does the job alone, which is their rate, correct? Preferred job. Times B's work rate to equal the whole job. So when we're working with this, instead of doing a chart, are we gonna do the basic idea here? All right, so here's what I want you to think about. We're really just doing what? Rate times time plus rate times time to equal one whole what? Job. So does each person have their own rate times time because we all work at different rates? All right, let's see if we can do this. And I don't know why they always use a printing press, but they always use a printing press for these examples. Maybe this computer's not. All right, moving on. All right, one printing press can finish a job in eight hours. The same job would take second press 12 hours. How long would it take both presses to work together? All right, let's use the setup so we don't have to think too hard about it. Guys, what's the rate of the first press? Yeah, let's do this one in yellow, right? So it's gonna be what? One over what? Eight. Do I know how long it takes? Nope. That's what I'm looking for, right? We're going to let t equal time for both presses to complete job to what? Complete job together. Okay? Now, what's our next part? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to do the next one. We're going to do our plus one twelfth. So we go here. I know it's to do one full job. It's going to take them 12 hours. So it's one job per 12 hours times RT is equal to what? One completed job. Now, guys, so that's T over 8 plus T over 12 equals 1. What would be a common denominator I can multiply both of those by? Yeah, 24, right on. So we're going to go and multiply both of those by 24 this time. So here's my original equation. Now we got to do all the hard work. 24 times t divided by 8. Mm -hmm. 
24 times 2 divided by 12 equals 24. So you get 5t equals 24. What's your time going to be? 24 over what? 5. And you could say that in hours. And we should do this as a completion, a complete sentence. I totally agree. But what's another way of writing this if you don't want to write it as a mixed number? You guys know how to fit, change it? It's four and what? Yeah, four-fifths of an hour. Okay, so what is it? Together, the presses complete the job. And I don't care which way you say it. You can say 24 over five hours or what? Four and four fifths hours. This is one of those times where, in the real world, would a mixed number be a better choice, probably? Yeah, and that's totally fine. Are you seeing where this is going a little bit, my friends? It's not bad. But let's see what we got here. Okay, next one. A little bit harder. We're notching it up. Just a little. Yes, sir. Yeah. One computer can do a job twice as fast as another. Working together, both computers can do the job in two hours. Guys, what did they give you this time? Yeah, they gave us, this time they gave us the completion time. How long would it take each computer to work alone to do the job? Oh my, okay. So we have to think about this one a little bit more. Now, first of all, it says one computer can do a job twice as fast as another. Okay, we have to decide what we're going to let our variable be. I'm going to let x equal... I'm going to do the slower computer. Are you guys with me on this? Okay. I'm going to let X be. Okay. No, I don't want to do the slower computer. I want to do the faster computer. Because the slower one would be two times that. Right? X is fast. No. Yeah, you're right. No, I want to do it. Yeah, let X be the slower computer. Yeah. Hey, I had to think it through. Sorry. You're my only class of algebra two. I only word it once. I don't have the time to fix it and word it again the second time. Okay. <coughs> now, guys, think about what this is, our setup. Remember, our setup is rate times time plus what? Rate times time. And we want it to complete the job together in one. Okay. So let's do this for a moment. What is the rate of the computer? One computer is just going to be one over x, right? But how long did we use? Two. What's the rate of the other one if it's twice as fast? 1 over 2x times what? 2 is equal to 1. So you guys really mean that's 2x plus, and this is 2 over 2x, or 1 over what? Isn't that the same thing as 1 over x? So if you wanted to do that, simplify it down, it's up to you. Guys, do I want, definitely have this in the denominator. Do I want fractions? What do I want to multiply both sides by? <coughs> Perfect. So what's the first one? 2x times 2 over x equals? What's 2 times 2? Thank you. The x's do simplify out like you guys were doing. You just got to remember 2 times x times 2 is 4x divided by x will be 4. All right, now what's 2x times 2 is 4x divided by 2x, which just gives us what? 2, right? And then we get here, 2x. All right, so we get 6 is equal to 2x. What's x going to equal? So how long does it take for the first computer to complete their job? So this one's going to be what? 3 hours. What's this other computer? It's two times what? Six hours. So how are we going to say this? One computer will take three hours while the other takes what? Mm -hmm. Six hours. Definitely do them together. What did you guys agree? Yeah. All right, let's do one last example with this. Because your brain tells half your brain. This is actually the faster computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
page at a time. I'm changing this because I want to be so exact with my numbers. Okay, sorry. All right, next one. It says Carl can clean a room in three hours. Oh, sibling rivalry here. If his little sister Kira helps, they can clean it in 2.4 hours. I don't know how much help she is right there. But anyway, how long would it take Kira to do the job alone? Well, just a quick question. Your younger siblings, are they ever, are they helpful sometimes? It was like, no, no. My younger siblings would not have. They would have been the opposite of helpful. They would maybe add 0. 0.4 hours on. Are you guys with me on that? Okay. Anyway, those of us who have many siblings, we know what we're talking about. All right. So let's do this one together. Guys, what are we looking for? What's our variable? Yeah, it's looking for the completion time for a cure, all right? So let x equal the time <coughs> it takes for Kira to do clean the room alone, right? To clean the room alone. And then we have no problem. Now, let's do the rates together. How long does it take Carl to clean his room? Three. Three hours. You guys, so it's one over three is his rate then? Yes. All right. So we're going to put the time in in just a moment. Because they did give us times. Would you guys agree? Yes. All right. Now, what do we know about his sister's rate? Do we know it? So it's one over what? X. And then they clean the whole room. Well, what's our time? Mm -hmm. So really, what's our equation? That's 2.4 over 3 plus 2.4 over x is equal to 1. Guys, you know what to do. What do you multiply both sides by? Careful. 3 what? 3x. 3x. Mm -hmm. So we're going to multiply both sides by 3x. <coughs> All right, so what do we get for the first one? That just becomes 2.4 times what? x plus, don't we end up getting like a 3 times 2.4 there? Yes, because 3 times x times 2, I mean 3x times 2.4 over x, yeah. Thank you, I will ask for that in just a second. And then we get 3x on the other side. So we get 2.4x plus 7.2 equals 3x. What do we do next? So, yep, minus 2.4x, so we got 7.2 equals what? 0.6x. Divide by 0 0.6, 0 0.6. People, this is truly a younger sibling moment. How long would it take her to actually clean the room? If you're the youngest, I'm sorry if I'm insulting you. Sorry, this is nothing against you if you're a youngest. Okay, All right, what's 7.2 divided by 0 0.6? This is not hard math. What's 72 divided by 6? Thank you. Oh, wow. Power. Power. Uh -huh. It would take. I know. Twelve hours to clean the room. I don't want her help. She's not contributing. It's not worth my time. You know what I'm saying? Quality. Quality. Guys, where is she? Use these as examples. Have a good weekend. Stay safe and out of trouble. Three times two point four is seven point two. So she got three times four is twelve. Carry the one. Three times six is seven point two. Four. Happen. Yep. We have chapel today. She got plenty of time to get over there, which is good.